Welcome to the Gunpla Network. I'm Murdoch, and today we're popping open the high grade MSM 03C Hygog. Brought to you today by our sponsor here in North America, Canadian Gundam. Looking for that next kit or tool to complete your collection? Canadian Gundam's got you covered. With a vast selection of Gunpla, Plamo kits, paints, and tools, you're sure to find what you're looking for. And then you have their flat rate shipping across North America and private warehouse options to work with. But wait, there's more. Take advantage of the discount code GUMPLA Network for 10% off your entire order at checkout. Shar's Red Comet Zaku 2 from The Origin is going to be my helper today. Carl! The one year war ended a while ago. Go home! You can't just arrest mobile suits for walking while Zeon anymore. Okay, so back on track. Getting a good look at this guy, he was first printed in 2003. I'm going to be up front here. 90% of my experience with Gunpla is either actual Gundams or gyms and the like. Generally because I'm more partial to blocky bot aesthetics and I might be an Auk supporter. So I'm going to keep an open mind here as we delve in and get through what we're looking at here. The sides look like they had already adopted what I'd say is along the lines of the current standard for high grade box art aesthetic. The only thing tipping me off that's an older kit is the art on the front. Now you see aficionados, don't at me in the comments for this, but I can't say I've actually watched War in the Pocket. So I'm a bit surprised that the high gogs arms actually hide in what I can assume are ballast or propellant tanks when it's in submarine form. On to the runners. Char here, holding up the A runner. If I were to hazard a guess, aside from the underwater equipment, let's see. Looks like we have some joints, I'd say feet, the vice claws. Is that a torso? And missiles. The B runner seems to have most of our big body parts, the head? Do we call that a head? I guess it's a head. And it's torso and arms and shoulders and hands and oh, yeah, those knuckles look interesting. The C runner seems to like a lot of our smaller blue parts are here. This looks like legs and feet and arm stuff. The D runner appears to be our exposed mechanical pieces. I'll admit, I was expecting more parts to this guy. If I didn't know any better, and the box art and how these poly caps are labeled weren't exactly as they are, I think I would have mistaken this guy for a newer model kit. Poly caps using an alphabetical system here. As for the stickers, well, this sheet isn't too bad. In fact, I kind of welcome having the numbers and stripes ready to go. This will be probably easier to apply than painting them in. Anyway, this is a quick one today. Stay tuned, and I'll have a review up soon. Until then, I'm Murdoch, and thanks for tuning in. As always, keep building.